The examiner will now come to you and say to you, tell me a little bit about hepatocellular jaundice. You tell the examiner, that's divided into two parts. That is, there are patients with hepatocellular jaundice, with liver cell disease jaundice, where the liver cell, where the hepatocytes are perfectly normal. They still get jaundice. And this is a genetic inborn error of metabolism. And though rare, it's extremely common. I suspect if we were to measure the serum bilirubin of 20 or 30 of you watching this morning, there would be a considerable variation. And in some of you, it may be two or three times above what we call normal. We call those congenital hyperbilirubinia. And one important group is young men, particularly young men. It's called Gilbert's disease. They come along saying that they are mildly jaundiced. So Mrs. Horn could not be suffering from Gilbert's disease. Worldwide, it is the commonest cause of jaundice. 5% of normal male have a raised serum bilirubin. But the most important cause of hepatocellular jaundice